Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak. I am the 8th lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. I uh, will always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer. Without, without wasting much time, let's go straight into our today's business. So, remember we stopped at the level when we were creating a what? Our... Um, when we, are, when we are creating our, uh, our what? When we are creating our landing page or our dashboard. Right. So in this dashboard, we are going to put here. So you proceed. We've just finished this one. We are going to greet someone, and then we want to put here another element. So I'm going to put here um, some row that you can also create your own if you can be creative and create your own okay so i'm going to put here a row and then i'm going to put here what to call um, see what this guy has got for us okay <laughs> we're going to put here a row and then i'm going to put here um i'm going to call this one um Top, maybe you can say maybe menu widget menu widget one something like that so it will be taking uh, the title and uh, on top method uh, and count maybe something like this and the count and then on top method so that's what we'll be taking. So let me go ahead and create it. So I'll press Alt and Enter to create this one method. So it is here. So it is taking what? A title. Let me rename it. It's called widget, not we we dig it like this. Alright, so it's going to take a title. I mean it's title and so let me call this one title, this one count, and then a function. Where someone can click on okay so i can call this one maybe a uh, function and then put maybe on tap something like that yeah so yeah so let's go and return so we're going to return here we're going to return here are oh, these guys saying then so these guys are proposing that return something like this does it make sense anyway let's see if it does okay just an expanded and then it has an inkwell and uh, it's a container that has uh, that background color that background color and uh, ah, this is not what i want let me do my own okay so i'm going to put here a card okay maybe card will work for us to see okay so go ahead and put a card so i turn it expanded and then you put a card and then you are going to go ahead and put um Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it, put a row. So you're going to have child and give it a row. And we're going to have children here. So we're going to have at least an icon. Let me see what these guys are giving me. I'm going to have an icon. An icon. So, for example, I'm going to go ahead and put here an icon, so like that one. So let me also be receiving here an icon, by the way. So I put here uh, icon data, the icon. So I'll come here and put this icon here. Okay. So let me go ahead and pass here some icon. Okay. 
something like that. All right, so I'll go ahead. Uh, let me first disable this copilot because it is giving me things that I don't want. All right, so I'll go ahead and uh, put some padding left. So come here to the card, give it some margin. I'm going to give it some background color. Mm. Some color of uh, primary. And then I give it some uh, with what? With opacity of 0.2. Ah, no, with, with alpha. I think with alpha. Alpha of uh, maybe 10. Maybe... 500 all right let me just get here this color just some slight grid there So there you go. Ah, oh, yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. So you give it some decoration. I can leave border. Okay. I think I can use container still can work for us. give it some margin I mean sort some padding Let's go ahead and uh, come to this row. So we have this one here. So we're going to have our size box of width five, and then we're going to have column that's going to have children, that's going to have text, that's going to have the title. Okay, and then this text shall style it. Shall style it, shall give it some some style, give it some maybe color totally black, and then give it some font weight of maybe uh, 700. Okay, font weight with some good 700, something like that, and give it some size. maybe 20 let's look at 20 that is too big let's look at 16 that's good that's good enough all right maybe can we look at 14 yeah. uh, let's look at 16 yeah that's good um let's reduce on this icon it is too huge we can give it maybe some Let's give it some. Let's give it some uh, forty. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. You can give it even like something like thirty-five. That's okay. So I want to, to have now the subtitle, which can be the counter. Uh, so it's as a title. So I put a subtitle. 
there. Uh, sorry, it was what? Counter C. I think, yeah. So this one is going to have maybe some font size of 12 or maybe something like um, uh, maybe 10. 10 is too small. Let's make it 12. Uh, make it 10 and let's see. Make it 12. Well, let's make it big since someone is much more interested in numbers than the title itself. So let's make this one 14. I mean, let us make this one 12 and make this one 16 okay so which one should make light i think this one should make it lighter shall we can make it like um 400 or 300 yeah 300 block for us and make it maybe a little bit bigger 18 something like that and then they make this one maybe 10 I tend to be too small. All right, so I think that's okay. So I think that's okay. Let's make it start. So we come here to cross alignment. Uh, cross alignment start and main alignment start. So I make it start. Uh, I think that's okay. I think that's right. Uh, only that uh, the line height of this one may need to reduce it height of one so it can melt a bit closer to each other yeah i think that's fine i think that is fine that's fine all right so i'll come here maybe I, I maybe i don't know maybe we should for the sake of branding i don't know this icon we should surround it with what with a container mm -hmm. with a container and give it a background color of primary and then you make this to be white i don't know if that is fine with you ah uh, i don't know i don't know whether it is going to be a little bit basic much more basic let's come and give it some what some border radius decoration box decoration border radius uh-huh border radius at all and make it maybe uh, 10 so it means that this color will have to bring it inside eh? uh, uh, uh. so did you take here yeah. radius dot circular maybe 10 10 is too bad <laughs> we'll give it like five yeah something like that mm -hmm. yeah i think that's fine i think that's fine i think that's fine i think that's fine i think that is fine that maybe we need to increase on the icon and make it maybe 38 yeah a little bit like that uh all right let, let's keep it 35 i don't know let's keep it 35 all right so let's make sure that everything is centered cross alignment across alignment dot center and let's say main alignment main alignment dot center let's see Okay, so maybe start. So, so put this one. Start. Uh, yep. I think yeah. There's some space on top there. I think I can reduce this one by giving it height. Okay, height of one. Yeah. So if I want to maybe space them, I can put just some size box and give it height of maybe one, something like that, or maybe two. Maybe three, maybe four, maybe three. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Uh, so I want to do some padding across this. So let's come here to this uh, container. Some padding, a uh, vertical, maybe can give it 10, and then horizontal and give it 12. Okay, I think that's fine. So let's go ahead and call this on top here so this is in a row when we'll give it sized width of five like this so it can have some space from the margin let's give it 15 like this okay mm, yeah 15 like that and then uh, come here 
I'll give this one maybe 30 to be in the middle. Then again to create here another one in here and give it also maybe 15 at the end. And have something like that. Right, so I think 15 will work in the middle. That is too big. Yeah, something like that. All right, uh, yeah, something like that. That's what I want. Uh, then I can come here on top and give it some sized height of maybe 15. Yeah, maybe 10. Mm -hmm. That is that. Is that too much? Let's give it five. Yeah, something like that. I think that's right. I think that's fine. I think that is fine. All right, so. Uh, since we are going with the rounded, so let us also make this also rounded. Okay, so let's go ahead and make it rounded. Can reduce on this red. Okay, so border, uh, border what? Uh, decoration, decoration, box decoration, it color. Give it border radius. Let me just come and copy this. Yeah, so it can be a little bit rounded like that. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know whether I need to give it some small border. Let's see if we can give it some border. Uh, border. That all. Give it color of primary. And yeah. And then. Hey, hey, it's going to look bad. Let me reduce on this red. Yeah, I think we can go with that. <laughs> I think we can go with that. It's not the best. Let's give it some, give it some width of both. If you make it one, if you make it 0.5. I think we can go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. It's not the best, but. We can see. So now let us see what we're going to pass. So at first we're going to pass and uh, maybe cells, cells, and then you can come here, put products. Okay, and then we can come here, and then. Divide this. Just come here and put here some divider, and then come and put this. Uh huh. So I can put maybe fifteen. I can put maybe twenty. I can put maybe ten. I don't know that is okay. How about fifteen? I think fifteen is fine. Yeah, fifteen is fine. We can go with fifteen. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, so we come on top again. So I shall put your cells. When you click on cells, it will take you to cells. We are coming to this. Uh, this is going to be what? A product. Uh -huh, so let us put the right relevant icon. Let's put maybe a cart. A shopping cart. Cart. Yeah, so it needs that this icon one needs some padding also. Uh, yeah, need some padding. Let's give it some padding. Uh huh. So it's when you give it padding, it looks weird. Let's reduce this one then to zero to thirty. Yeah. Be 25. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, so uh, we proceed. Go back to widget one. Okay, so this is a cut. Maybe take out sales. Then you can put here maybe products can do like something like archive. So maybe box.
products if you have an icon i don't think it is there uh, ha, ha, ha. It's only luck for us products. Ah, oh, so to bring that to the next thing, last product. Um, uh, here you can put a dashboard. I mean, you can put uh, put categories or put statistics. Star, this, statistics. I can do maybe reports, report. I can do statistics. So I can put here. Start. Like this kind of pie chart. Okay. Uh, then here, I can put web dashboard looking for an internet icon but I'm not seeing it but you can go with that web dashboard uh, I think that's okay I think that is okay so let us first finish all and then we come at once okay so that is a simple dashboard so you come here put some sized size the box Give it high to five. I think we should finish this dashboard within this video. Yeah, shall finish hopefully. So give it high to five. Uh, then after, we go ahead and uh, we go ahead and do what? We go ahead and uh, we go ahead and put some title and call this one, for example. Um, stores stores health surround it with container Give some padding. Okay. Can style it up. Can remove this. Let me give it some primary color.
Okay. So shall always have here some kind of container that will check if this uh, stock is running out or not. I think that's fine. I think that is fine. I'll copy this.
Come on, put it here.
to 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 help you together so it's going to be my items here Don't have so many items okay this list tail has the way how it creates that unnecessary padding eh? let me see if i can code the padding agency that symmetric and put vertical to zero vertical is not being affected the minimum padding to zero that's the way how it creates that unnecessary padding to make it dense This is it helping? Let me make it dense and increase the font. Let me make it dense and increase the font. Yeah, they're at least closer. Let me just increase the font. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I think that's fine. All right, so let me just get this one style as well and add it here. Yeah. So at last, I'll we'll have a button. This one, the vetted button, and I could do what you call logout. Okay, that is fine, that is fine, that is fine. Yeah. So now let's link these things. Let's link them up. Let us link them up and we get rid of this scattered menu. So stock records, you're going to put it here. Stock records, you're going to put it here. I think it's already there. Uh -huh. So after stock records, I'm going to put here the what stock items stock item stock stock items the screen okay that is it still so just remove first let's just first remove those ones from the list that we have bottom there do, 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 do. stock records we remove it from what we already have here in the bottom. 
I'll move this one. Okay, stock item screen. I'll also remove it. I've finished adding it. All right. Remove it. We remain the stock categories. Stock categories are going to be up here at before employees. Okay. So stock categories. I'll come and get this my employees so after my employees let me put here stock stock categories so it will take you to put the relevant icon it's going to be category like this Okay, so set categories there. Uh -huh, so we we'll go ahead and put stock. So it should take us to stock categories screen. Where is it? So I put here. When someone clicks here, when someone clicks on this, we have on top. No. Should take us get the two take us to stock categories screen we pass empty object stock categories screen we duplicate it it put also stock subcategory screen stock sub categories stocks of categories so we can get a relevant icon and each icon you're going to use here so if someone clicks here i want this one to take him to stock subcategories so go to on top and put stock stock subcategories screen okay uh so stock subcategory screen is over so categories over so subcategory screen is over let's remove them in our menu I remove this one is over I remove this one is over okay so employees go ahead and remove it and then add it in the menu so we go to where there is my employees my employees which is here we add the on top method on top and then we paste there got employees screen okay so what else uh what else what else financial periods financial period let us put in bottom there so shall come here after stock subcategories go ahead and put uh financial periods financial periods so put just something like money i mean put maybe calendar and the come and put here finance financial sorry finance how do you call it finance show periods screen like this okay so having that financial periods screen you come here on top of this and I okay so after financial periods screen uh the next thing i'm going to do uh this one i can remove it now okay financial periods as i cannot see it did i add the word even it should be financial periods okay doing that so the next thing is uh financial period remove it here <clears throat> we go to this get logged in user i don't need it uh, 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 uh login screen you don't need it and then register screen don't need it yep and there uh, we yeah. so if i save that what we can have i think this dense we can remove it if Dense, let me just control F out and enter, remove dense. 
yeah we can have something like that okay so what else do we need it's not the most beautiful one but it's links we can have that uh, ha, ha, ha. then you can have things like download my data download my data generate report and maybe contact support uh, so we can come here to financial periods okay put here download my data so someone should download their data download put here maybe sorry an icon come and put here the down icon hey, download is not there can have a pdf icon i don't know have it download my data and then maybe uh, we put what else we put uh, download my data we put generate report generate report should come before we download my data yep generate report okay Put and then contact us. delete my account and contact us. Delete my account should be delete here. my account is there all right so the next thing about us and contact support about us about the app And then lastly, contact support. So we contact us. out yeah i think that is enough that is enough if we can finish these features i think the application will be good to go if we can finish mastering these features then the application is going this will be good will be good to go so in the next lecture we're going to work on what we're going to work on now mastering the sales mastering the production i mean the products mastering the statistics uh, statistics i don't know we can keep it pending and then work on these features employees categories and the rest yeah so that's what we're going to work upon so let's meet in the next lecture see you and don't miss